I want to say hello to Nora Kelly, who's sitting over here. Nora, you're welcome. It's very nice to see you. And thanks. Yeah, give her a round of applause. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. Thank you, Rob. Nice to see you. So there I was looking at the front page of the Irish Examiner, and I see you celebrating your birthday. We, can, can I ask you the rude question, and, and, and maybe you tell us which birthday you're celebrating? My 90th. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. And did you have a nice day? I did. Did you? I did. And you had good fun, and you had surrounded by family and friends, is that right? That's right. Can you tell us where you're from? I'm from Killarney, County In Kerry. County Kerry, great. <laughs> And no, nothing wrong with that. And, <laughs> and you brought some of your kids with you tonight. I did. Can I say hello to them? Would that be okay? You can. Would yeah. you like to meet some of Nora's children? Yeah. So would I. So they're here. We have their name. So this is Eamon. All your children. You gave birth to all these children. I did. Eamon. Yeah. And Laura. And Brian. And Joan. And John. And Mary. <laughs> and Elizabeth. And Bernadette. <laughs> Wowzers. That's pretty good going. And Eileen. <laughs> And Patricia, and Lawrence, my own mate, and Nuala. Now, you're not having us on now. These are all your children. They are, yes, right. Shall I keep going? Yes, do, please. I'm wrecked, lads. And Noreen, and Tim. How many have we got now so far? <laughs> okay, Tim. Tim? Yep. Great. And Breda. <laughs> ah, come on. Margaret? Yep. That's me. Kathleen? <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> Are there any more? <laughs> I think there are a few up the back. <laughs> <laughs> and Seamus. <laughs> and Sheila. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Kelly family. All 19 children, okay. all yours, oh, no. uh, ranging in ages from what to what? These are probably trick questions for you now, are they? 67 to 47. 67 to 47? Okay. okay. Now, you need to answer some questions. <laughs> <laughs> How was it, uh, having all those children? What was it like, as being a mother of 19? I enjoyed it. Did you? I did. <laughs> I did. I did. Okay. I enjoyed uh, it. Was it difficult? It was, certainly was. And what was the, what, how would you describe it as being difficult? What parts of it, apart from the existence of 19 mouths to feed? What, when did it start getting tricky? On child 12, 13? <laughs> what happened in terms of all of that? Yeah, you're roaring laughing, aren't you? <laughs> What's so funny? I thought it was my last. You thought what was last, your last? Hmm? Number 12. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> you had seven more, Nora. Right? Like, <laughs> you kept on going, didn't you? Tell us about it. what was it like growing up in the house or with all these kids in, in, in the house. Was it? It was tough, and, and uh, but uh, I was a good mother always. I was very, I was always classed as a very good mother. I believe that. Yeah. And yeah. when yes. Um, what sort of, um, what class of house did you bring the kids up in? Was it a big house or something? I did have a small house. Uh -huh. Yeah. But, uh... You bought an airport hangar. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? My husband, John. Yes. Got me with him. Yes. And he built a five-bedroom house, a dining room, come sitting room, kitchen, and a sub room. Right. Yeah. And for, for a long time, you had no running water and yes, electricity? Yes, I didn't. Did. So you just made through... OK, I'm just trying to think of things like nappies. Like, I mean, <laughs> what, how did that work? Well, we had cloth nappies then. Yeah, of course you did. And I washed them all, and I was happy doing it all. Yeah, you didn't. I, I, never, I never complained. You're right. And things like the school run. You know, people going, oh, God, I have to bring my two kids to school today. I'm wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> what, how did you get the kids around, transport-wise? Uh, well, we weren't uh, far from, from the school, about a mile down the road. Right. Right. Yeah. So you marched like an, an army? Yeah. Was it like That's a right. Devon I, Traps on tour? I've got to tell you something. Tell me. Eamon was on 
Here we go. Careful now. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. What did I say? You were in Susan. What did you say? Teacher training. When you were yes. teacher yeah. training. Yeah. And he was going to school, and when they all went out, there was nine going to school, and I went watched them going and in behind them the night. Okay, so you were in teaching school. practice. You were in teaching practice. Yes, I was. <laughs> you got a lot of use. You got a lot of uh, practice as, as a teacher. And and you're the you're the oldest, right? right. So who's the who's the boldest? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't say that. Uh, but you could. <laughs> Which one? Look, you've got a choice of 1 to 19. <laughs> Can you say who was the... Not who, really. Not really. Not OK, not really. I'll ask you an easier question. <laughs> Who's your favourite? <laughs> oh, no, that's not a nice You're not allowed to answer. No, I'm not allowed. OK, not allowed. well, we meet some of them. Uh, let's uh, chat away, too. Who we got? Eamon, you're the old... Um, growing up in a family of, of, with 18 siblings, I mean, try and give us a... Get a head, trying to get a head round is just uh, impossible. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose I was at the top of the tree, and if I fell, there was 19 to hold me up. Yeah, yeah. So there was no bother, really. Is that right? But uh, I suppose it, 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 we hadn't any, say, no water, no electricity, so it was difficult enough. But Mother was, as she said, she was a great provider. To know whether it was baking or whatever, like, we were never... That's one thing, we were never hungry. Yeah. And they gave us all a great chance. Lots of families when they were young, maybe they, they didn't go to school, didn't get a chance of going to school. Everybody got a chance. So that was, there was great credit due to them for that. Yes. We could have been sent out working, but instead we got a chance to go to school and better ourselves. And educate yourselves. Absolutely, and, yeah. and you have five children of That's your right. own now. Um, so what happened? What's wrong with you? I mean... I know what's got ahead of me. <laughs> I just imagine if you're the firstborn and I'm Nora turning around and you go, now have some news, there's going to be another one. <laughs> <laughs> and every couple of years or every year, go, there's going to be another one. That's right. And another one. That's right. All right. Uh, Laura, you're the baby in the family. That's right. Uh, so you had, what, uh, 18 Siblings. older brothers and sisters. Can yeah. you get a, give us a taste of what that might have yeah. been like? Well, I guess as the youngest, you're always looking up to them, wanting to be older than what you were. And yes. then as you get to this age, you want to be younger. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> so you want to do the things they are doing. You want to go out. You want to have fun. And you're always wondering what they're at. Um, but I guess, you know, from my perspective, I'm the youngest. And yes. I could say the youngest is spoiled. I don't think anyone was spoiled, but I do think that I was treated with more mothers maybe than I deserved. So I had my mother, but I had older sisters who were yeah. my mothers. And I had, uh, as Mary, one of my older sisters, reminds me of quite a lot. My mother was, went to London when I was four months old. And Mary was left to mind me. Yes. My mother ended up getting strep throat in London when she was yeah. visiting her brothers and sisters there and yeah. didn't come home on the day she was supposed to. Yeah. So Mary was unable to wake up the night to feed me. She had real trouble between all the other chores she had to do as well as take care of me. Right. So I have a lot of gratitude for my sisters because yeah. they really worked hard to make our life Great. You and, had a lot uh, of maternal love yeah, in the room. And Eileen reminds me, uh, another sister, of when we were young, her job was to get up the three youngest, me, Luna and Lawrence, yes. every day to get them dressed, fed <laughs> and ready yes. for the day. And that was her job for yeah. so many years, yeah. you know, so I had many mothers. OK. Well, and then I had many brothers who who were very good to me too. Right. Um, and I was very lucky. So it was in nice. That regard. It sounds like you, you had a, a, like a fun upbringing a as well fun. as, uh, you know, as a, a very creative house because on my mother's side there was much music. Right. My great great grandfather was a champion step dancer. My granny played the fiddle. So her house was a rambling house. And on my dad's side, Eamon Kelly was the Shanachie oh, and an great. actor. Oh, great, OK, yes. Yeah, so so there was a lot of, of literary uh, story and telling folklore and, and storytelling yeah. and acting. So no one behind the door coming out, really? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. yeah. Not too much shyness. Yeah, so Brian, a lot of creativity. Great. Yeah. And your twin? Absolutely, yeah. And your yeah. hands up with your twin brother is uh, down Tim. the other end. Hi, Tim! <laughs> uh, and as a twin, as twin boys, was privacy an issue? Or, I mean, were you able to... Move? I mean, how does that work? Oh, uh, yeah, well, we, look, I suppose, uh, growing up uh, um, uh, as a twin, I suppose, we, we, we were sharing and, um, you know, we used to share stuff uh, a lot until we came to our late teens, I'd imagine, and uh, I suppose when girlfriends came into play, that was the end of the sharing, I you know? <laughs> um, actually, I have one little story. Um, yeah, please do. <laughs> Seeing that I come from the... My my family, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm just going to make him nervous. I, uh, <laughs> probably. Good. Uh, uh, I remember uh, Tim and I were um, at um, the Glen Eagle, which is a famous um, hotel ballroom. We were at, a, I think it was a disco we were at, actually. Yes. And um, we were up, I was hanging up this lady across the floor, 
So I said to him, I'm going to ask that lady to dance. So he said, I was going to ask her as well. <laughs> so it was a, a circular floor. Yes. So I went that way and he went the other. Yeah. And I arrived there first. And uh, that lady, um, 38 years later, she's still with me. Is that right? <laughs> years now. Right. So, uh, as I say, yeah, hi, Tan, and uh, the kids at home, yeah. So, yeah, well, that <laughs> could have been such a different story, yeah. But yeah. Uh, it could have been. <laughs> but you described the, the, the dance hall so well, it's like the Hunger Games, really. For Absolutely, yeah. Just, uh, oh, there can only be one winner. <laughs> Nora, yes. I just want to ask you about uh, the, the, your children. How do you feel about them now? Yeah. I'm you, very proud of them. Are you proud of them all? And I love every one of them. Yeah? Yeah. And they love you back, I think. Would that be fair oh, to say? Certainly, they do. Very they good. Do. They do. And, and, and grandchildren-wise, how many grandchildren do, I, do you have now? Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight grandchildren. And there were fifty grand at my there birthday what? party. There was fifty of them at my birthday party. So you had your nineteen kids, your yeah. fifty of the grandchildren. Yeah. There's a photograph from. Is that? That's your 80th, so there's oh, probably yes. a lot of heap of them now. <laughs> they, they haven't invented what's called a wide lens wide enough to <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably put them in it. And how many great-grandchildren do you have? Uh, 16. 16. So it's a busy... Uh, do you buy Christmas presents for your children? <laughs> or, uh, no. You just bless them all. You kind of bless. And where Seamus uh, is, is here to... Down, down, right down the... Okay. I'll, I'll come down here and I'll just... This, I'll just you know, I have it in my head that when you were feeding the kids for breakfast, was it a bit like... Here you go, there 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 you go. First day at school, how was it for you? Ah, uh, the first day it was uh, good. Miss Looney gave me a bar of chocolate. And uh, Elizabeth was supposed to bring me home because she was the eldest in the school. That's, which one's Elizabeth? Because I can't... Elizabeth, I'd just, just love to name and shame them. Yeah, that's fine, Elizabeth, yes. Uh, but she forgot me. <laughs> and, you and, I wasn't, and I was not yet four. And I had to walk the mile home on my own. God. But you know what's nice about that story is you've forgotten it and uh, you've also for forgiven Elizabeth all these years later on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what a pleasure to meet Nora. Shall we give her some flowers for her birthday? Congratulations. Okay. Happy birthday. Nora Kelly, ladies and gentlemen, the whole Kelly family. All right. <laughs>